Another name I got on here, man, and I think it's going to be impactful, and it's not a season-ending one, but he is going to continue to be on the injured list, and that is Deshaun Jackson. And I know it's a one-game sample size, that one game against the Redskins, and nobody's better in revenge games than Deshaun Jackson, but I do think that that's a guy who this Eagles offense needed that home run threat. They don't have any field stretcher that Carson Wentz trusts. And that I trust when I watch them because, like, we've seen Aguilar have these drops or show no effort on making an attempt at catching a pass. So how do you feel about Deshaun Jackson and this Eagles team? Huge loss, especially given that I think the Eagles schedule, it's, it's going to pick up. I know they, they play Seattle. Um, I want to believe they play. I know still have to play Dallas, but just – They play they, New England too. They play New England. Oh, yeah, I think it's coming up. It's just the fact that the NFC is crazy right now. There are nine really good teams, and that means three teams are going to miss out. And – Right now, the Eagles, they lose the tiebreaker to Dallas. It's just, there's no margin for error. And just not to have that playmaker. Yeah, I know Goddard's starting to come out. And they're starting to use the two tight ends really well. And, and that's what was a big luxury for them last year. Like, they were the team that was running two tight ends since the most. I read Warren Sharp's book, and he's been a, he's been pro uh, 12 personnel. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, Godair was a guy who was balling out for them. And, yeah, they are starting to utilize him a lot more. I believe last week he played 77% of the snaps. Wow. That was a season high for him. Yeah. And even, you know, and Zach Ertz finally, you know, welcome to there the fantasy season, Big Zach Big push-off on Fuller. I thought it was a blade yeah, push-off. Yeah, yeah. But, but again, you know, yeah. pass interference gets it, – it, it's a judgment call. And I think a lot of times the refs are just too stubborn to overturn it. Right. The DeAndre Baker one. Oh, no. I th- who was it, Cooper or was? Uh, yeah. yeah. And then there was one on Evan Ingram that got challenged and it didn't get overturned. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but, I mean. <laughs> I, Pat Shermer. I like Pat Shermer. Jeez, he's not uh, doing himself any favors. The, the, the best thing Pat Shermer has done in, in two years is step in and bench Eli Manning because he showed me that he had cojones. But besides that, yeah. I don't think he's cut out for that. Yeah. But I, I do think with Deshaun Jackson, uh, it's a big loss, man, because I thought he was a guy that the Eagles didn't have last year. And he still has some juice left in the tank. And just the idea of having him out there, even as a decoy, I think changes that entire dynamic of that offense. Absolutely. He's still someone that could one of the biggest home threats home run threats in the league and just someone that commands respect when you prepare for the Eagles and Deshaun Jackson's healthy or whatever team that Deshaun Jackson's on, he's someone you have to game plan for. Otherwise you will allow a seventy yard touchdown. He will get behind your defense and you're gonna pay the price. So to lose that kind of threat it's a huge loss. You know Philadelphia, they have one of the best offensive lines in the league. Doug Pearson, you know he's concocting some sort of crazy game plan. Like the Eagles are well sub to they're gonna be they're gonna be a problem. But to lose that threat definitely limits them a little bit, especially someone with Carson Wentz who could be a bit hot and cold at times. When Carson Wentz isn't playing well, he misses a lot of throws. But uh, I still think Philadelphia they'll, they'll be right there. 